Hi guys, how's it going today? Today we are going to edit a headshot. Um, maybe you got stuck at home and needed a, a headshot for your LinkedIn or for your web presence. Um, could you imagine a situation where suddenly you're stuck at home and, um, and your face is just a photo that you have? So let's see how we can take just a regular photo shot on a white wall and make it from kind of blah to fabulous. So I'm going to show you some new things we haven't gone over before. We're going to start with select and we're going to say select and mask. Um, this is also alt control R and then super simple guys. We're just going to say select subject and it's going to use computer learning to say, I think this is the subject, which I love. Um, we can go over here to view mode and look at it in black and white. And then we can also click refine hair and it's going to give us just a little bit more detail in the hair, which I do love. We're going to go back to the onion skin view. I like that. And we're just going to say, okay. So now we can see it did a pretty good job. We're missing some. So just keyboard shortcut W or your, um, what do they call this? Quick selection tool. I just use W and we're just going to kind of add in these places that it missed because we don't want to mess with those. Zoom in real close, control plus, control plus, and then I use my palm on the keyboard to make my cursor into a hand so I can drag it around. This is lovely, this is good, plus. Okay, just a little bit here and there. All right, I'm sure this is super entertaining to watch, but it's necessary. I want to make sure everything is selected well. Got that little fuzz, because it's just going to make everything way easier if we have everything nicely selected. Control Z. If we select something we didn't mean to, if we're like, oops, we can just go up here to minus mode. There we go. Fix that. I'm going to go back to plus, kind of unrefine that. That's great. Okay, so good. Now we have our subject selected. And now I really actually just want to select the background. So I'm going to take control shift I to select the inverse. We're going to go here to our level slider, click this, double click that. And we just want to make the background white. So you had a gray wall. Now it's white. You had a, an iffy white wall. Now it's super white. There we go. All right, look, we missed her earring. I missed her earring. So I'm just going to go. In my history, back to right there, go back to W and say minus and take that out. Yes, we could have fixed it otherwise. No, I don't want to do that because that sounds like a big pain. That's the great thing about your history states is you can go back, fix things. Maybe you made a boo-boo. It's not really a mistake um, until you refuse to fix it. That's some life advice coming at you right there. Better, 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 better. Okay, control shift I to select the inverse. Back to our actions palette. We say level slider, double click. Boom. Way better. Sorry about that. Just kind of bring all those up. I see this. It's not, I don't. It's not a concern right now. So good. F8 to flatten. You can also go layer flatten image if you don't have my actions. If you'd like a copy of my actions, Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com. So now I'm going to click level slider, double click. And now we're just working on the face. I mean, we're actually working on the whole image, but this is so white. It doesn't matter. And I'm just watching her skin. We're starting a little smearing in there. Don't want too much. I'm just going to grab a 30% brush, click there. I just want to hit those cheeks just a little bit. And then let's before, after, fabulous, F8 to flatten. I'm going to grab my magic wand. We want to whiten teeth, so we're just going to zoom right over those and click whiten teeth. It's not much of a difference. They're so white. There's after, there's before. There we go, F8 to flatten. I just, I F8 the whole time. I'm just flattening. Once I have finished an adjustment layer and I know that, hey, I'm good with this, I just flatten it and move on. Um, if you're new and you're like, oh no, you might want to not flatten and continue to work. Um, but as you get more comfortable, you'll be like, okay, like, I don't need to 
go back to these teeth. They're perfect. They're fine. So I just F8 to flatten. So now I'm going to show you a neural filter. We're going to go up here to filter, neural filter. This is in Photoshop 2021. And we're going to turn on skin smoothing. We're going to zoom in so we can really see what we're doing. And here's our little on off button. So there's off. Here's on. I'm going to bring it down. Her skin is so perfect anyways. I do still want some texture. Um, I want to know that this is skin. I don't want to filter her so hard that her nose disappears like that. Uh, not my jam. So we do want a still a natural look. So this is like 24 and minus 25. Might bring that up just a touch. Well, I brought it up a lot to 26. So here's her before. Here's our after. I'm going to say okay. It's output to new layer. Let me show you that again. Filter, neural filter. I should have shown you that when it was up. Skin smoothing on. So I have output to new layer. Um, and that's that's what I like. Smart filter is also a good option. But for this, um, new layer is fine. So I'm just going to say cancel. And then we can see here's our before. Here's our after. I'm going to grab my eraser. 36%. And I got my eraser by keyboard shortcut E. I'm just going to erase her nose just a little. Because I... I hate that when you filter so hard that your nose just becomes one with your face. I just want to lighten everything. So I think that's fabulous. I'm going to hit F8 to flatten. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to grab my clone stamp in lighten mode. This is how I touch up little fine lines and wrinkles. Um, before the neural filter, this is what I used a lot. So um, lighten mode, 37%. Right click. I just want to hit right under her eye. Um, I want to control Z that and go up here, change my hardness to zero. I'm going to redo what I just did. Alt click. There we go. It's a little bit softer. Alt click right underneath here. Alt click. Fabulous. Now, sometimes in headshots, I would go in um, with my burn tool and add a little bit of eyeliner and add a little bit of blush. She did her makeup amazing for the camera so she doesn't need any of that um if i were to do it let's see mid-tone 16 percent. i would just hit the cheeks very easily but again she's she did her makeup perfect and also you can do the same thing burn tool mid-tone 16 percent. you can do the same thing with the eyes you can even add a little bit of eyeshadow if you needed to just a little bit of color she did so good. She did amazing. All right. So back to actions. I want to sparkleize. Nothing happened. That's the that's the ticket. We're now in the action selected our history brush and it actually put two unsharp masks in there. There we go. It put two unsharp masks in there and then it um reverted back to our clone stamp that we just did. So when we do click this it kind of makes the history brush a future brush, if that makes any sense. I'm going to go back. I'm going to make this eh, 25%. There we go. It's better. Wait a minute. Okay. I went way back. There we go. I want to hit this lip too. And that is fabulous. Oh, we have this. Let's crop it. Um, eight by 10 by 300. That's just my standard size that I crop most everything. If we need a specific size, just type it in there, whatever you want. Um, if you're sharing on the web, I think like 96 is fine, but don't crop it so small the first time that you don't have anything to work with later. Like maybe you need to print this out for your mom as a gift. So don't crop it super small. Eight by 10 at 300 is fine. So there we go, guys. That's it. Um, I think this looks absolutely fabulous. Um, I would love to see what you guys do. So definitely drop me an email, send me a comment. Um, if you have any questions, those are great comments. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.